This is an overview of badge assignment in the Crisis Alert Admin panel. You will learn how to assign users badges and what to do if a badge is lost. Admin panel sign in. First, go to web.sendtjix.com and log in. Then go to the top right corner of the screen and click on the three horizontal lines. Finally, click on Admin Panel. Assigning Badges The default tab when you go into the Admin Panel is the Users tab, which is where you need to be so you can assign badges. To assign a badge to a user, click in the search field on the right side of the screen and enter the name of who you're looking for. If you can't find the user when you are entering their name, check the box next to Show Multi-Site Users. Once you find the person you want to assign the badge to, click the Scan Badge button next to their name. Take the scanner provided to your site and plug it into the USB port on your computer. It will make a sound when it has been successfully plugged in. Use your scanner to scan the QR code on the front of the badge. Once the badge is successfully scanned, you'll see a badge ID populate with a green on button. The employee can now use their badge to initiate staff alerts and campus-wide lockdown alerts. Please note that if the user travels to another site within the organization, their assigned badge can still be used to activate alerts at those sites where crisis alert is installed. Lost badge procedures. In the event that a user loses their crisis alert badge, it can be deactivated by sliding the toggle button next to the badge ID for that user from on to off. This prevents someone finding the badge from activating an alert. Once the badge is found, you can toggle it back to on and it will be active again. If a badge is not found or is damaged, click the Remove Badge button to deactivate the badge permanently. You'll then need to scan a new badge to assign it to that user. If you have additional questions, please contact support at sendtjix.com.